Hello there, it's Dr. Mian from Sunny Dallas. Today I want to talk about one of the most common questions that I get from my patients as Ramadan approaches. With Ramadan less than a month away, a lot of people who take thyroid medication are asking the question, when is the best time to take my thyroid medication in Ramadan? Now as we know, thyroid medication known as Synthroid, or the generic which is levothyroxine, and natural brands such as NP Thyroid or Armor Thyroid should be taken on an empty stomach with only water and it's recommended to wait at least an hour before eating or drinking anything else including tea or coffee and that's because food can decrease the absorption of thyroid medication by about 20 percent especially calcium and iron containing foods now, during Ramadan, with the fast being about 17 hours long, and in some places even longer, it's difficult to find a time during the night when the stomach is completely empty. I'm going to offer a few different options that you can try to make sure that you, your thyroid medication is absorbed and you have the energy that you need during Ramadan. The first one is to take it one hour before sahur, or the pre-dawn meal, and basically treat that just like you would treat your breakfast. Now that's hard for some people if they graze throughout the night or if they find it difficult to wake up that early during the night. So a second option is to take it two hours after dinner and then wait one hour before eating or drinking anything again. Now some people like to have a snack after they finish their night prayers and come, come home from the mosque. Now this might work for you as long as you leave those two hours after taking it, after eating dinner, and then leaving one hour after taking your medication. If you find that's difficult, another option which I don't really recommend is that you could potentially break your fast with water, take your thyroid medication, and then wait before eating dinner. Of course, people are very hungry at the end of the fast, and that one would be mo very difficult for most people. And also, because it's sunnah, or a recommended practice of the Prophet وسلم, to break one's fast with a date, people want to do that instead of just breaking it with water. Now, if worse comes to worse, and you're really struggling, and you find that either you're forgetting to take it, or you're just kind of always nibbling, then it is still better to take it even if you have food in your stomach because although the absorption is decreased, you will absorb some of it and that's better than skipping it altogether. I also recommend making an appointment with your doctor before Ramadan to make sure that your numbers are, are well controlled going into Ramadan. So I hope some of these tips work for you and that you're able to have the energy that you need during Ramadan.